Hey everybody, Jen here, and I'm back with another Louis Vuitton small leather good item. I wanted to showcase and demonstrate to show you what it can hold and the features. And this is another popular entry level luxury item. This is the envelope style business card holder. And this is kind of a, an underrated item in my opinion from Louis Vuitton because it is inexpensive for the brand. It also comes in a number of different styles, prints. You can get the Empreinte leather version and currently retails around, I believe $295. The leather version is about $65 more. And I have seen quite a few of these on the resale market, although the price is fairly close to retail. So I haven't seen a significant savings on this item, buying it pre-loved or on the resale market versus buying it directly from the boutique. It was a little bit of a tricky item to find for me. I know sometimes the stock at Louis Vuitton can be a little bit tricky to nail down. And I did have to sign up for the email notifications because this was not place in cart right away. But when I saw it was in stock, I just ordered it. And I was like, all right, let's give this a try. But I have the in the classic monogram. And then the inside is the, just your kind of classic. It's sort of like a cognac color, brown leather finish. Finish, and this one is made in France. Now, what's kind of interesting about this one is that there is no visible hardware on the outside, which can be a pro and con. I personally like the details on some of the Louis Vuitton items in terms of the hardware, but on the plus side, that means there's nothing that would get scratched. So it does have a snap, but the snap is internal. And I do think this is a pretty like nice slim item. A lot of people have been using these as like compact wallets. And just as a comparison, I wanted to show you the Rosalie coin purse. This one is about a hundred dollars more than the envelope style business card card holder. And it's a little bit bigger than the business card holder. So you can see this one's a, a tiny bit smaller. Uh, this one is obviously a more simple design. And I do have another video all about the Rosalie coin purse if you'd like to see more of the details of this item. But if you turn them on the side, they're almost this, I would say they're very similar in the uh, depth of the item. The business card holder is a little bit bulkier, but it's also a little bit more of a blank slate. So when you open it up, there is a card slot on the top. There's a card, there's two card slots on the front and then there's this open compartment. So you could really use this for a lot of different things, but I've got some prop items here. So I'll show you what fits inside. So let's just put a card in the front slot. I really like how the front slot is slanted. It just makes it easier to get the cards in and out. This uh, slot here is a little bit more difficult to get cards in. So you can, but yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to get the cards in the front slot. Um, and I don't carry that many cards with me. So you got two cards here and then you can fit a third card up top. I'm not planning to double up on the cards because I don't want the slots to get too stretched out. So that's not something I'm gonna do. I've seen a lot of people do it. That's just not for me. So I've got three cards in here and then I'm also gonna put some, I'm gonna try to put some cash in the uh, open slot here. Now I've got some bills and they're just folded in half uh, lengthwise, but you don't have to fold the bills. Yeah, so they fit pretty, it totally clears the open slot. So you only have to fold your bills in half one way and not twice, which is more convenient. And then you could put some coins in here too. So let's put some of these coins in here. While this is an open compartment, so the coins could fall out, that's a real possibility. I think in a lot of situations, it's I don't really see it being like that big of a problem. All right, so let's snap this closed. So this is what it looks like with uh, three cards, a few coins and some cash. And it's, again, it's a nice slim wallet. Another one I will compare it to as well. I also have the Coach multifunction card case and I do have an, yet another video on this item. And this is a little bit bigger and bulkier than the Louis Vuitton business card holder. So if you are looking for something a little more minimalistic and simple, this is a good option. This one's quite a bit less expensive. I think I paid about $60 for this. I really do like this item too. It's uh, pebbled leather. The quality is really good. I haven't bought anything before this. I hadn't bought anything coach in a long time. I mean, I like all of these items for different reasons, but this is a very nice simplistic design. This is also a very like unisex gender neutral 
item. So it would be a, a good gift for pretty much anybody in your life, especially if it's maybe your like entry level piece into Louis Vuitton or designer items. This might be a good choice if you can get your hands on it. Again, it's under $300, not including taxes. One thing I do like about Louis Vuitton, I think the packaging is always totally bomb and the shipping is always free. So it comes very quickly and the pet, you know, you can check the option now to get a shopping bag. You get the nice bag, you get a dust bag. So the presentation is really quite chic. And I think this is a great gift item. I think for the price, again, anything at Louis Vuitton is gonna be overpriced, what's new and they keep raising prices all the time. But I just wanted to show you what this item is like in action. Let me know if you own it down below in the comments and if you have any tips or hacks on using it or you know maybe you've come up with some new things. I, the other thing you could do, you could, if you wanted a teeny crossbody, you could totally probably get one of those conversion kits and add a chain if you wanted this to be like a tiny, tiny wallet on chain. I feel like that's a little impractical for me, but hey, you could. Uh, but yeah, you can't really fit much. You could probably put like a hair tie in here or maybe some other tiny items. I don't, you could probably maybe fit a lip item if it was a mini and very slim. Uh, but yeah, no, actually I do have a mini item. Let me just get that real quick. I've got a tiny lip sugar item. Let's see if this fits in here. This is a uh, fresh sugar rosé item. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Uh, I'd have to take everything else out to be completely frank with you. So let's take the bit cash out. Uh, another, I would say, pro about this particular item is that the brown color will hide dirt. So again, if you're putting coins in it, coins can have some grime and stuff on it. So that might be a plus, you know, it might be easier to clean or keep clean because it's a darker color. All right, so here's a mini, eh, this fits, but this is like, look how bulky this is. So I, I wouldn't recommend putting lip products in here unless they're minis and they're very uh, slim. This one is about with like what, three quarters of an inch thick. So probably not a good plan, but this is just a quick uh, demonstration of the envelope style business card holder. I'm Jen, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and let me know what you think of it as well. I'll see you guys again in the next one.